Welcome, in this video I'm going to show you how you can create a dual access bar chart using Microsoft Excel. Uh, I'm using Excel 2019, but this should work with most versions um, of Excel as well. Uh, this is the type of diagram that I'm going to create. Um, and to, in order for you to see how that can be done, I have some example data, um, which is stored in column A. Um, and uh, each value uh, represented actually um, a classification and a zero was a missing value so we only have one two three and four which range from very scientific to not scientific at all um, these are the frequencies uh, you can simply do those with count if uh, function if you're interested I have a separate video on creating frequency tables with Excel these are the valid percentages, which are then uh, frequency divided by the sum of all the frequencies and then simply use the percentage sign um, to make them into percentages. The total is of course just a sum and the cumulative percent, the first one is simply the original and then it keep on adding up. So 10 plus 21 is 31, 31 plus 36 is Okay, it's 67, but because of roundings, it becomes 68. And 68 plus 32 is 100. So here's the diagram that we want to create. Um, first thing is to select the category and the frequencies. And I'm using control and then also select the cumulative percent because I also want to see those. Then go for insert and then select a 2D column chart and now I actually have um, a clustered bar chart. That's not what we wanted. We wanted those percentages to be on a secondary axis. So if we double click on any of them, um, we should get our format data series and we can change the series options to the series cumulative percent. So it's selecting the cumulative ones and I want to display that under the secondary axis. Now the right click on those and then say f uh, change the series chart type and then we're going to change those cumulative percentages into a line graph. Uh, if you like you can do it with the dots on them as well. Uh, click on OK and now it's a nice line chart. Uh, this does need to go up to 120% so let's click on the horse vertical axis and change that to uh, where was it over here in the axis options uh, the min uh, the maximum can be simply a hundred percent so that changes it slightly um, then we can add the uh, titles so if we go in the chart design ribbon uh, once you have selected a chart that should be available and then under add um, chart element you can have the access titles. Uh, we can do the primary horizontal one, which uh, is in this case whether or not accounting. That was this about. We can add a vertical one on the left side, which are counts. And we can also add one on the right side. And these are Cumulative. Oh, don't want to move it. And these are cumulative percent. Diff percent. Um, let's see what else. I might want to have the legenda, uh, the legend, uh, on top rather than at the bottom. So now it moved it up here. And if you want, you can add a chart title, or uh, in this case, I'm just gonna say none. And this is roughly the diagram I started with showing you and promised to recreate it. So there you go. I uh, hope this was helpful and thank you for watching.